Just 24 hours after what some are calling a bizarre news conference held by Jaguars cornerback Jalen Ramsey, Coach Doug Marone says Ramsey will play in tomorrow night's game against the Titans. At the same time, backlash continues from Jaguars ticket holders and sponsors who are rethinking their commitments. Tarek's joining us now with more on how some say Ramsey's words just further divide the locker room, Tarek, and the fans. That's what a lot of people are telling me. You know, Jalen Ramsey made it clear in yesterday's news conference that he doesn't want to be a distraction. But with every word and every curse word, he said, it made it impossible not to focus on him. So fans are reacting differently. Some are coming to Jalen's defense, but most say the Jaguars have a real problem now, calling Jalen Ramsey Jacksonville's Antonio Brown. Jalen Ramsey is the best cornerback in the NFL, according to News for Jacks analyst Mark Brunel. But at the same time, Brunel says the Pro Bowl player is also one of the most selfish players in the league. Brunel says Ramsey's words yesterday during this press conference had a rippling effect on the organization that put him front and center. He's the first face you'll see when you come to the bank to watch a Jaguars game. I love Duval. Uh, the city embraced me. The fans embraced me since I've been here. Uh, I mean, just last night I was in Roof Chris. They were showing hella love. No one player is bigger than the team, ever. It's one of the best things about the game of football. It's a team game. And in my opinion, I think Jalen Ramsey is, is acting uh, immature. I think he's acting selfish. And there's no place for that uh, on this football team. In spite of Ramsey's true intentions, Brunel says he's become a huge distraction, one that is likely in the back of his teammates' heads, affecting them on and off the field. And fans, too, are also embarrassed by Ramsey's behavior, like this fan who took to Facebook's Swip Swap to sell Ramsey's signed jersey for $600. Fans are commenting, saying he's done in Jacksonville, so disrespectful to his team, his coach, and his fans. Bye, Felicia. And another fan writes, better sell the jersey before he leaves and takes all his whiny drama to New England. Fans say Ramsey's words and actions are part of a bigger problem that could affect season ticket holders' commitment to the team. Fans saying if they trade him, they're going to walk away. I hope not, but we'll see. Why would they walk away, though? I think just trading the key player away going to angry, uh, make a lot of fans angry. So I really think these guys need to realize they are on a team and that they can make it happen. It's just mentally, emotionally, whatever's going down. I don't know if they need a, a team psychologist or a better one. Locally, we've learned that companies that were using Ramsey as a spokesperson are already making plans to stop running ads like Nimnik Chevrolet, where a spokesperson tells me they've canceled all their advertisements for the fall and winter featuring Ramsey until they know if he's going to stay in Jacksonville. Ramsey's also been featured nationally in NFL commercials and locally to promote real estate companies who are now rethinking their front man. Tom? Thank you, Tark. The sheriff's office is urging fans to be in their parking spots by 4.30 tomorrow afternoon to make it to the 8.20 nighttime kickoff. The team has also announced changes at the stadium in response to feedback from fans about how long it took to get into the home opener. They include additional entry points and more metal detectors. There will also be more staff members at the gates in addition to temporary structures to provide shade and misting fans for keeping cool. You're also allowed to bring one commercially branded and sealed plastic bottle of water. It must be 16.9 ounces or smaller.